Open Road Designer is your application for this to integrate design for roads, bridges and utilities. So let's start with the beginning, with the existing conditions of the project. So here you see a reality model and the reality model is created uh, in this example from photos. Um, it's a high accurate 3D model which can be used in any phase of your project. So we move on into Open Road Designer which is the advanced application for road bridges, tunnels, utilities uh, design and modeling. So on the left side you see the 2D plan drawing which has been created by the application Open Roads and on the right side you see the full 3D model. So they are always dynamically linked together. So you see the 3D model including the reality model which is just attached to our application. So the, the, the good part of, about referencing is that the source, when the source is going to change, your data is also going to change. So here you see the full 3D model, including the roads. Um, this project has 11 bridges. Um, it has all the guardrails, uh, which are standard in the application, and also all the pavement markings. So you can model the conceptual design of the bridge, like here, or you can use RM Bridge or uh, Open Bridge Modeler to do all the detailing. So in this case, the file size has is only 19 megabytes, despite the fact that it has more than 100 kilometers of roads. We can also include all the utilities. So here we modeled the existing utilities. There's a nice tool available where you can extract utilities from graphics. So just 2D graphics and then create all the 3D utilities and then reference them in, in your project. What you see right here. So I'm rotating the model so you can have a better view. We have to snap to the one of the locations. Okay, there we go. So there is one of the uh, existing utilities models. So we go back to the 2D and the 3D. So there's one tool. Once you have created a plan drawing and a 3D model, you can generate your drawings. So I've got one tool for plan profile and sections. So you have to do is select from the plan like the location. So you see the sheet size, we selected the A1. You can select, if you have these, the plan annotations. And it's generating directly a sheet boundary for you and clipped the plan drawing and place it on the sheet, which is ready for printing. So you can either choose to do this in a different file, just referencing in your project data, and you can create plan profile and sections directly from the reference files. So let's do a couple of sections. So you select the location where you want to section the model. So what, whatever we see in the 3D model, whatever is available in the 3D, like from reference files, from AutoCAD or other sources, will be displayed as a graphical element on your uh, cross-sections. So now it's generating the sheets, including all the utilities which are available in this area. So now it has generated, generated the uh, sheets, including the title block, and etc. And bracket all the sheets uh, on and annotated the, uh, the, the sheet layout as well. So very powerful. Everything which is available in 3D will be shown on the uh, section drawing or profile drawing. And we can customize this really easily as a user. So let's go back to the 3D model. So now we've got a dynamic 3D model linked to the plan drawing, the profile drawing, and the sections. And we can 
generate now a noise visualization. So you can export everything to LuminRT, which is uh, come with the product, Open Roads. So it's it's uh, it's no extra license, and here you can generate really nice uh, visualizations. So easy to use. A uh, full set of libraries like cars, um, plants, trees, uh, people. <clears throat> and here I'm laying out a, uh, a four lane, just um, generate the, the path and it will populate the, uh, the cars for you. You can either choose to do it um, from a uh, application like Vism or you can do it randomly like what I'm doing right here. So now you see the traffic. You can give it speed, it will queue when it's too um, too, too busy on the road. Uh, also trees, there's a full set of trees like here. It's really easy to use. Just play some trees like this. So this is all about to bring your uh, design more um, alive, so you can make other people enthusiastic about this 3D model, or the design basically. So you see also the, the wind in the trees, so it's becoming all alive. So when you populate all the traffic, when you create all the traffic, it's done in minutes, it will look like this. So I speed it forward and now you see all the traffic uh, gives a much better understanding even you can turn on the reality model if you want um, but this is a, a really nice example of how everything com combines together 